Hello, everybody! It is I! Leonard! Bane of everywhere! Not you quite... You may have everyone fooled, but I see what you're doing here. The call of gold sends you scurrying like a rat. What are you talking about, you silly old man? I'm already disgustingly filthy rich. I'm here on an important archaeological mission. And at least I don't drink bread from a cop. Who is that, and are they going to annoy me? So far, they're ignoring me. Works for me. Yes, I have a feeling that's not going to ignore me. What? What? Didn't we get attacked by an elf last time we were here? This is... Ow. This what you want? Ah! You're punching a heavily armed man in... Because he's wearing ebony armor, has an ebony bow, and you're punching him. Any more stupid questions? Oh, please kill him. Just please kill him. Put him out of the universe's misery. Even Inigo can't this be bothered killing you. you. It's embarrassing. I have your back, my friend. My back? It's you he's got a problem with. I don't know who you dallied with. And I know this is... I mean, look at this. This is definitely somebody you have... Aff don't shoot me. You have offended at a personal oh, level. Hmm? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, but there was another elf, and we killed him. Have you been... Do you have a thing for elven ladies? Not that I'm judging. It's perfectly understandable, but... You see, you see the problem is, is, if you're sort of diving out of windows, being chased by husbands, they're gonna know who you are. You're blue. Which is brilliant, but it's pretty unique, okay? Maybe a little more discretion? Pheasant breast? None had s some decent food. Ooh. In a go? Yep. Look, if, if, if you're having a problem, you could talk to me. What is on your mind? I'm, I'm wondering why the man carrying skooma bottles had it in for you. I'm thinking, what is Mr. Dragonfly thinking? Well, if I... If you need anything else, just ask. I was about to ask Mr. Dragonfly <laughs> and then realized I'd be talking to Inigo's bottom. Is that bug going to be a problem? It... it is it... I will set you off in style. Really? Please? Are all these immune to being paralyzed? That is that. Yeah, I might as well collect its parts as well. It is going to take us a while. It is going to take us a while to get to Fort Frostmouth at this rate. Right. Okay. Um. What a strange morning we're having. Not the least of which <laughs> is because it's actually really nice weather. Ha! The dig site! Oh, nostalgia. Right. Fort Frostmouth is there. Why is the weather so nice? Do you think the weather's improved since Mirak died? I mean, maybe, maybe that's just, you know... That was his thing, miserable weather. My thing is sunny weather. 
Although with my mood, I cannot think why that is in fact the case. Right, um... Yes, it does look like we've got some more of those... It's an ash spawn, isn't it? Those things were not... They're undead, aren't they? I, I, I can't actually... Yeah. Worth a try. Come on, let's go clear the place out. There weren't much trouble last time. Hopefully that will be true this time. Can you remember where the gateway in was? Okay, we have several more. This one is down. Oh, 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 okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. As is this one. Both of these are down. Oh, nice. Ooh. Uh, maybe focus on that one. Yes, focus on that one. I will, I will, I will try to weaken these. I'll get that. Ah. But only if you can take out that one. Okay. I've got that one down. I'm going to take... Oh, I missed time for that. Okay, those two are down. Right. Focus on... Where was the other one? Focus on the one that was shooting fireballs. Oh, I think there's another one around here, Indigo. I really do. Okay. Um, I will come and help you with this one. We should probably do one. Of oh, my. Really? Um, I'm j I, I just... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Ah, huh? You couldn't even look behind... Wait, wait. You know what? I'm just going to stay over here and let you sort everyone out. Right. It would seem the dig site is probably over here. You don't think the place is... It probably is filled with ash spawn again. Even... Oh, God. Even with the, um... General di Iron Dagger of Smoldering. Okay. In a go? Yes. Okay. No, no, that was... Yes, kill it, kill it. Why are you on fire? Oh! Oh! Okay! Right! We're doing this the old-fashioned... Whoa. Okay, we're doing this the old-fashioned way, I guess. Just, just... Absolutely embarrassing. <sighs> yes, they're done. They're done. They're done. As am I. Really thought we were past this. You know what? Okay, has somebody else moved in? I brought potions with them. Really would have thought they could clean the place up. I mean... No, that's, that's definitely the sound of more ash spawn, isn't it? Okay. I doubt it's going to confuse them much when a ball of light is... Oh, two of them, two of them. For me, he's not even paying me any attention. Okay. Down. Just like old times, yes? Old, annoying times. So. I do wonder if any restoration spells would work on them. Do you think 
Do you think they could be turned? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, I think it's over here. Maximian's knapsack. A l oh. Letter to Selena, part one, two, and three. Letter to Selena, part four. Okay, let's just, we, we should read these in order. And here is the excavation site. Let's read these letters, first of all. My dearest Selena, it's been a difficult day. General Carius ordered us to help the laborers shore up the walls since they're starting to show their age. It was backbreaking work, but without the extra support, these wall those walls wouldn't stand up to a siege. Some of the men are grumbling about the task, but I don't agree with them. The general knows what's best for the fort for Fort Frostmoth, and I would follow him to oblivion and back. He possibly did. If he asked. There's a supply ship due on Solstheim in a few weeks, and I hope to send you all these daily letters I've been writing. I hope you enjoy reading them as much as I enjoy writing them. I miss you, Selina, and can't wait to see you again when my time on Solstheim is through. Yours always, Maximian Axius, 20th Evening Star, 4th Era 04. Okay, so that was number one. My dearest Selina, Euphemius was killed this morning by one of those awful reeklings. We were escorting a supply wagon from Fort Frostmouth to Raven Rock when a war party of those bastards ambushed us from the cliffs. We fought them off, but poor Euphemius was impaled by one of their spears. Yeah, I do empathize. The healers at the fort couldn't do anything for him, and I watched him slip away as I held his hand. I don't know how much longer I can stand being here. My loyalty to the Empire and the strong words General Carius delivers to us each morning muster are the only things keeping me going. The supply ship should arrive tomorrow, and I promise to give the Quartermaster my letters so that they finally, they can finally be sent home. Give my love to the children. Yours always, Maximium Axius. Part 3. My dearest Selina, the supply ship due in Solstheim hasn't arrived yet and no one knows what is, what's happened to it. I'll keep writing these letters in hopes that they can be delivered to you one day. It's awful being isolated on Solstheim like this, but General Carius keeps telling us we need to maintain Fort Frostmoth for the good of the Empire. I believe what he's saying only because he's never led us down the wrong path in the past. Oh, was that about to change? But I'm wondering if anyone on the Imperial Council even gives a damn about this pile of rock. Four soldiers have died in the last two years at Fort Frostmouth. It almost seems as though the Empire takes all of us for granted and expects us to sit out here and get chipped away like the rock inside the mines. My posting here can't end soon enough. Yours always, Maximian Axius, First Sun's Dawn, 4th Era 05. Okay, I'm expecting part four to be... I hate this place! My dearest Selina, this is my last letter. I don't know if you'll ever get any of them, but I'll keep them on me in case I'm ever found. Something happened here, Selina. It was horrible. Something happened at the Red Mountain, but I can't describe it. It's as if hundreds of Oblivion gates opened at once at its summit, and it's spitting fire and death in all directions. Fort, Post Fort Frostmouth has been completely destroyed. The walls crumbled like loose dirt and the land is on fire. Everything around me smells of ash and death. I don't know where anyone is. I've been trapped in one of these lower sections of the fort and I don't expect to be rescued anytime soon. I miss you, Selina. I want to hold you and the children in my arms and tell you that everything is going to be fine. But I don't think that will ever happen. Give my love to Syracus and Atia for me. Tell them their father died bravely defending the Empire, so they can hold their heads high when they speak of me one day. And you, my love, when you close your eyes at night, think of me so my spirit can finally come home. Yours always and forever, Maximian Axius, Third Sun's Dawn, Fourth Era, Zero Five. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid they never got those letters. However... We have found the excavation site. Are we going to be... Okay, this requires a key. Have I not, have I not got the key? thought so. It... 
Just wanted to check. We're not going to get disturbed here, are we? I can't hear anything else. It's, it's just, unfortunately, none of my uh, detect spells work on these guys. Detect life or death. Because apparently they are neither. Okay. Let's roll up our sleeves and get this excavation started. I cannot believe I'm saying those words. <sighs> Actually, I can't believe I'm saying those words without more grumbling. And so I shall grumble the entire time. Okay. What? Oh. Of course. I see chests. You know, we did a pretty good job of uh, excavating. But apparently the room beyond that rubble was remarkably clear. Just iron swords of burning. Okay, we've got malachite. That's actually pretty rare. And... A strong box and a large chest. What is in the chest? We have... Just stuff. It's it's just going to be a little bit of treasure, isn't it? I mean, I don't mind getting treasure. I just can't help but feel I would have gladly spent this much money hiring people so I didn't have to do all this work. Right. It's night time. I actually think morning is close to arriving. Oh, I'm trying to... I am in your way. I am sorry. I'm trying to pick up the arrows. Oh, uh, yeah, just, 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 oh, you know what? I'm tired. I am tired. Right. We've missed most of the night. I'm thinking we head back to Raven Rock. Perhaps just sleep through the day, yeah? Let's just relax. Let's sleep in our house. And then, after we've had a little bit of rest and relaxation, we can head back to Skyrim and deliver the good news. And... All of the items belonging to various dragonborns of Eon's past. And hope Orion can reforge or remake this amulet of the kings. I really don't like having breakfast here. The fact that we can't move the chairs to a more comfortable position makes... Having a conversation somewhat difficult. What is on your mind? Right, I just want to make sure you've got enough sweet rolls. Pooling our resources. For the journey home. Because it is quite long. You have none. You've got some food, which uh, you're not eating again. I'm going to give you a few extra sweet rolls, seeing as it is a long journey. Now, please do not scoff them all immediately. And then spend the rest of the journey being violently sick over the edge, yes? Although I would much rather you did it over the edge. If you have to do it. Hmm? Just pace yourself. How are you doing? No, my mind is the sky without birds at the moment. Okay, well, speaking of which... <whistles> let's way. enter uh, the sky. I have it probably pins and has... Your pins and needles. Okay, well... Unfortunately, we're going to be travelling home. Which means you'll probably be sat downstairs getting even more pins and needles when you finally stand up. You could do laps around the deck if you want. Completely up to you. Right. Just going to do a little selling before we leave. Looks like it's going to be nice weather again. Really has improved, hasn't it, the weather? Since, uh, since I destroyed Mirak, 
Solstheim has become positively... Okay, I was going to say pleasant. Um, less unpleasant, I think, would be more accurate. What on earth was that? Okay, that was... I think I stubbed my toe. Okay. Oh, you came up the gangplank. Well done. Where are you going? Where? What are you doing? Whatever it is, I would recommend you stop doing it. Oh, now you're showing off. One minute you're too afraid to even go on the gangplank, and now, now you're just running up and down it backwards and forwards. You're enjoying the boots, aren't you? Oh, go on then. Have fun. Right, I'm going to set course for us. <clears throat> We've arrived, and the weather is pretty good. In a go. We're back. You can come out now. Time to go, eh? Yes, okay. it is. Okay. Since you've been hidden down here the entire journey, I still think you could keep me company up here, rather than sulking downstairs, but we're back. That is all that is important, I get. Okay, yes, this is a slightly more intimidating mooring spot. I will grant you that. I can forgive you for being a little nervous. Will you just work up the courage to, to come across? I shall seek out Orion and give him the good news that we have all of the items for him. I hope. I have no idea why I hope that. I mean, Realistically, he's probably got another long list of things he needs to send me wandering around Skyrim or Tamriel to find. Probably back where we came from. That does seem to be a speciality of his, making me run back and forth the entire time. I think it amuses him. Of course, the question is now, where can we find... Okay. Business is booming. Oh, God, children. Oh, wow, look at that. Don't look at the child. Has anybody seen Orion? Why am I asking you? I... Okay, we've got 1,569 items on display. That is impressive. Orion is in the gallery library. You know, this book is actually very useful. Right. Orion? Good day. Oh, well, I hope it is. Oh, no, you are not leaving. I. Mm -hmm. I believe I'm ready. I have everything that you've asked for. Please tell me that I'm ready. I see you have all you need. I found oh. an ancient ruin that supposedly houses a seal of some kind, where a temple to Akatosh resided a seal. in ancient days. When High King Wolfhark began his restoration of the Old Nord gods, and his purge of the Eight Divines, as they were seen as Elven Gods. Many fled, but those who remained went underground, literally in this case, to continue worship. I believe the lay energies of old there will best serve our purpose. Wear the relics and stand upon the seal. From there, it is up to you. Oh. Okay. I was rather hoping you could just... forge it together for me. I... No idea why I thought that. Okay. Orion has told me of a tomb where I might use the relics to make connection with Akatosh to bid him to reforge the Amulet of Kings. Is that a good idea? Would it not be a little more sensible to ask him nicely to reforge the Amulet of Kings? Or is that just not what kings do? Probably not. I should look for a seal upon the ground and wear the other relics while holding the shards of the Amulet. Where exactly would I? Okay, it's close to the Lost Valley Redoubt, a place we've never actually been. Okay, we can take the airship to Rorikstead. That is the closest place. However, we shall do that after we've had lunch. Rorikstead! I'm tired. You know, I feel like I need a bell or something. Something I can ring. Just to get 
Inigo's attention to let him know that we've arrived. What time is it? Why am I tired? Oh, I mustn't have got much sleep on the journey from Solstein. Right. There is an inn down there. Probably don't want to spend the night there. However, maybe we could get some food. In a go. Change of plan. Change of plan. Where are you? On my way. Oh. Uh, I have pins and needles. Yep. Yeah. Are you, are you sure it's not the armor? You've been complaining about the pins and needles a lot more since the new armor. Maybe it's too stiff. You want to go back to the whole pirate look? I am your way. I am sorry. Right, new plan. I'm thinking we head off in the morning. We've got to go through the mountains. I'm shattered. You've probably had enough rest and as you've just been hanging around downstairs having fun while I've been playing the part of captain. What do you think? A bell. I think a bell. Yeah, I think a bell. I feel a bit like a carriage driver going, Rorik's dead! You know, at least if I ring a bell, I feel a bit more... Like somebody riding a carriage or driving a carriage for other people. Look, the change of plan is thus. Sorry, I was daydreaming a little. Yes, fine, I'm babbling. We're going to get some dinner down in Rorikstead. And then in the morning, and then we're going to get some sleep. And then in the morning, we'll head off and go and stand on this seal and re... It's a ladder. It's a rope la... Really? Are you going to blame that on the armor as well? Too difficult... Ah, there you are. I thought I had lost you. Yes. Well, you need to try harder next time, don't you? And I don't actually mean that. Please don't keep trying to lose me. Do we need those buttons? Monarch... Butterfly. Restore health, fortify barter, linger... Probably. You know what? The Thane of Everywhere does not run around catching butterflies. At least not whilst people are looking. Right, let's go and see what food they've got here. And do a little relaxing. You know, Inigo... We should get some seats put up here. Seats and a table. So we can enjoy breakfast watching the sunrise. It's a little chilly. As I've said, we might want to put... In... In a go. In a go! We finished breakfast. That's very nice. Are you are you coming? I was busy waxing poetically about the beautiful sunrise and how we You know what? Never mind, you've ruined the moment. Yeah, just you get back. It's not that cold. Come on. There are times. I get the feeling you don't actually want to go on an adventure. Oh, I was keeping my tail. I'm glad it made the trip with me. Good to see you, by the way. In spite of the fact that you claim otherwise. Right. Shadow Mare! Yeah, race. Okay, just... Watch where you're going there. Right, so, we can follow... This road, for want of a better term, to Serpent's Bluff, and then right down the other side. And then we'll need to go over the... I'm wondering whether it actually is more sensible either to go around here or down... This bit of road is often... Oh, no, that's the wrong bit of road. I was thinking of a bit of road over here. I was going to say there's often attacks by the Forsworn, but that is not the case. This is Fort Sunguard. I, uh, there are ways through. It is quicker to go here, but then how do we get across here? We probably want to be heading 
to this bridge, you see. So I'm thinking we just go up towards the mouldering ruins and bleak wind bluff, now that I think about it. Probably more for Sworn. No, you know what? Let's just go straight over the mountain here and then across. Yeah? Less chance of getting attacked by the Forsworn. Probably more chance of getting attacked by a giant. I seem to remember there being oh, some. So this is a this is a path. This is this is a, a trail of sorts. I, I suppose I could see that if I squint at it. Just not much of a trail really, is it? Okay, we've made it to the road, and... My fur feels charged. Yeah, that, I believe, is where we're heading. Let's double check that. Yeah, right, so... It actually looks like we're going to have to go past or through the Lost Valley Redoubt. Place we've never been. Could we just... Ah, oh, no, I think... Where is the path? Can you... S oh, really? I'm not in the mood. I want to be able to see... Look! What? 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 I'm... Sorry? I'm getting the feeling the thunderstorm is letting up. Really? Genuinely, I'm not. Thank you. Ah. Is that it there? Maybe we don't need to go across the bridge. It sort of... It does look... Like there's a way there. Ah, uh, Gloom Reach. You know what? I think we're going across here in a go. I really do. Yeah. I tell you what, let's... Call the horses over a little closer. And I think I'm just going to get a bit of water. Is it? Can you hear a mud crab? Ah, there. I will try to ignore them, my friend. Try to ignore what? No, feel, 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 feel free to stab them, shoot them, kill them. Or, you know, I don't get it. Oh, you know what? Really can't be bothered. Um. So there was another one, right? We oh, let, let's just go and do our good deed on the way. Oh, there we are. Right. Shadowmere, you just stay over there. We shall return soonish. I think we just head on up here and hope we don't run into too much resistance. It's a bit of a forlorn. I don't know what you have been told. Oh. A friend is worth more <laughs> than gold. I'd rather be poor with a friend at my side than be alone and oversupplied. Okay, you're making up for earlier. You are. Yes, you are. Ah, the Sworn. Almost certainly for Sworn. I was thinking perhaps it would be undead. Right. So I tell you what, why don't you... Okay, maybe I will do some reading while you are gone. Oh no, I'm just going to go and check to see what we're dealing with and whether or not we can just ignore them or... I don't know. Get them to wipe themselves out. I am not sensing any art. Ah, yes, I'm sensing life. Oh, maybe I can try out the poison room. You know what? That might be a nice idea. Nordic Excavation Site. Really? 
don't think now is the time. Maybe on the way back. I see you. So. <laughs> the Nord Skull makes the best axe blade. About all they're good for. Okay, not a fan of the Nords. Got him. Oh! Okay, that... Triggered a lot earlier than I assumed it would. I'll tell you what, let's. Did that, did that even hurt him? Okay. He's coming. Is he coming? Is he coming? Well, and you triggered the trap. That really didn't seem. Too impressive, actually. Huh. And I, I can, I can. Oh. Oh, well, that does damage him a little. I suppose. Oh, somebody else is coming. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. okay. You can't hide from me. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's just get them to fight each other. In a go. I, uh... I think we're doing this the old-fashioned way. That that poison rune is not... Not as amazing as I thought it was going to be. No, feel free to kill this. Okay, never mind. He's going to die anyway. Mercy. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 an interesting idea. It just doesn't seem to be that strong as poisons go. Maybe maybe I've become a bit of a poison snob. I just expect my poisons to kill things pretty solidly, and that did not in fact seem to be the case. Uh, mind the rocks. Mind the... Okay. He was in fact... Really? He was... I'm getting another one of those feelings of weird deja vu and I can't think for the life of me why a Nord on a grindstone would give me deja vu. Yet for some reason it does. Okay, we've got another trap we can ignore. What other signs of resistance? Aha, uh -huh, one there. Right. You may as well come back safe. Yeah. It's a shame, really. That would have been nice. Just plant a little poison room and they step on it and die and oh oh I do have some I don't I, I'm, I don't have that many poisons I mean see that's how a poison should work look at that that's how it's done not like a little green puff of smoke and then an irritable, cranky person. No. Silent. Deadly. And leaving the victim in a somewhat creepy state of death. Okay, um... Was that a hundred carat? Was that a hundred carat chair, Mike? Yes, it was. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we have rather a lot of them. I think I'm just going to sow a little chaos in their ranks. No, no, I told you to stay there. 
Okay. They're shooting. They are actually shooting at you. You didn't. Okay, I'm just. Enraging a. Whoa, okay. In again. There is a cranky. Okay, you know what? Yes, yeah, right, they're fighting. Let them fight, let them fight, let them fight. The goat is in on the action. Okay. This is not going quite as well as I... Oh, I think I might have accidentally enraged you as well, Inigo. I am very sorry about that. I, something is definitely shooting at me. And if I find that person, they are going... Oh, it's you. You're shooting at him. Okay, is he the last one? No, there's another one over... I see him. He's over there. Can you see him? And I am really sorry about the whole enraging you thing. Did you get him? Nice one. And again, my apologies for the... For, for the, for the yeah, close your eyes and count to ten or something. Calm down. Just please don't hit me. So we have one more guard up there. Right. Lingering poison. Good grief, that's borderline worthless. You stay down there. I think I can deal with whoever this is. I believe there was someone else as well. Further up there. Ah. So I'm peckish. just realized that shout that lets me knock things over would be kind of useful there. Dun does somewhat announce my presence to his friends. Where it is? There was one of them. Aha. Uh -huh. Briar Heart, I believe. Wonder if I could use him to uh, deal with the one over there. Okay. Okay, he's now enraged. And there was another one there. Where? Ah, oh, there he is. He is now enraged. Ah, oh, they're both enraged, but neither of them currently wishes to get. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Um. You, a bar a barbaric idiot. Yes, you are. As are you. Both of you, sir. Oh. Nope. Okay, they're, they're they're fighting. They're fighting. They're fighting. I got them enraged enough. Right. Oh God. I'm failing at making my way up a set of stairs. Okay. Find somewhere out of the way. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice shooting. I must admit, I really did assume the Briarheart would. Wow. Actually, very impressed. So much so that I think I'm going to. Um, oh, God. 
I'm going to paralyze you and have my friend deal with you. Because... Yeah, that was a briar heart. Oh, well. Apparently, some of these for Sworn are actually tougher than the briar hearts. Yes, could you, could you, um... Uh, come and deal with this gentleman. He is remarkably tough. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to uh, deal with this myself. Right. Nord Light Spectacle Helmet. Mm, not really. Okay, so. I think we've got most of the resistance dealt with. Now we just make our way up here and try and find the seal of Akator. Does that look like a dragon wall? There's the water. Ah, no. There are some people. Oh, there you are. If there is trouble, come get me. Yeah, I just want to go and see what we're dealing with. Just going to actually make sure. Am I heading in the right direction? Yeah, it does seem to be the right direction. Ooh. Hag ravens, maybe? Possibly, you know, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of preparation. Oh yeah, hag ravens. Okay, dragon wall there. So then. Right, oh, let's the let Life. them fight Life. each other a little, and then Life. hopefully they'll uh, they'll come and investigate. I'm not hearing fighting. Ah, now I'm hearing fight. Oh, there was a briar heart there as well. Okay, no, I'm hearing fighting. Well, we're good. We're good. Just, just you stay there. Still hearing fighting. In a while. First you, get all of the reach. I'm, I'm thinking I might need to. Wow. Yeah. I'm just gonna refresh that. Okay, they saw me. Right. Nope. Just gonna give them give them a little while longer. It, it's it's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. You don't need to get involved. You really don't need to get involved. They're still fighting. Badly, apparently. Okay, this really is taking rather a long time. I'm getting hungry. Oh, they're healing. Oh, okay, yeah, this, this, this could... You missed. This could take a while. Oh, is there somebody else? Is there somebody else shooting? Can't quite... Good grief. Okay. How about... I, I'll paralyze her for you. You... Lay into her. Yes, you just get her. You get her. Get her. Really? 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 Is everybody in Skyrim got a problem with hitting people when they're down? Why? It is, without doubt, the most sensible time to hit someone. Am I the only person in the universe that can see that? I can't see much at the moment. In a go. I am, aren't I? I'm the only sensible person 
in Skyrim, and perhaps even in Tamriel. Become ethereal. The Thum reaches out to the void, changing the Dovahkiin's form to one that cannot harm or be harmed. You know, I might want to uh, take a trip to the Greybeards and discuss the whole shouting thing again. Now that um, the dragons are no longer an issue and things have uh, developed vis-a-vis -vis me being the dragonborn, perhaps it is time to um, not start picking up human hearts. Yeah, to, to expand the rep... <sighs> Everybody has a human heart. Everyone has a human heart. Well, I mean, I have a human heart as well, I guess. Technically, mine is in my chest, keeping me alive. I'm pretty sure that was just lying around in your pockets. Briar heart gaze. All right, you know what? You know, I say this, I'm, I'm, I'm ripping out the briar heart. I don't quite know what those are. Pretty sure they're not actual hearts, though. They're in place of the heart. We're here to find a seal. Can you see a seal? Can you see a seal? I'm not seeing a seal. Have we gone the wrong way? Did we come all the way up here for no reason? I mean, it's... Perfectly plausible that that is in fact the case. I tell you what, let's see if good old clairvoyance. Can... No, clairvoyance is telling me. Ah. Ha ha! There is a sanctum down here. Right, I'm, I'm peckish. You, you, you got a lot of food. Yeah. I'm going to have some hawker loaf. Right. Okay. Let's, uh, take this carefully. We don't know what to expect down there. So let's expect the worst. Okay. A door. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you not following? Inig... Inig... Inigo? Inig... Together again. Yes, yes, yes. Together again. Are you following? Okay, I will try not to start any trouble. No, no, no. Are you following me? You're following. You are definitely following. Good, 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 good. We're... I'm uh, a little reluctant to be heading in places like this without. Oh, okay. Fine. You're not interested then. So. Okay, going further in, I guess. See if Inigo does. Wait, Inigo, Inigo. In Woo! I mean, what did you do? What did you do? Amulets of Kings First Edition. Oh, do you think this gives us instructions on what to do? The Amulets of Kings First Edition by Wenegris Monhona. In the first years of the First Era, a powerful race of elves called the Aelids, or Heartland High Elves, ruled central Tamriel with an iron hand. The high and haughty Aelids relied on their patrons, the treacherous Daedra Lords, to provide armies of Daedra and dead spirits. With these fearless magical armies, the Aelids preyed without mercy upon the young races of men, slaughtering or enslaving them at their whim. On behalf of the suffering human races, Saint Alessia, the first in the line of Cyrodiils, sought the aid of Akatosh, the dragon god of time and ruler of the noble Aedra. 
Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed St. Alessia with this blood of dragons and made a covenant that so long as Alessia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies, the Daedra-loving Aelids. In token of this covenant, Akatosh gave to Alessia and her descendants the Amulet of Kings and the eternal dragonfires of the Imperial City. Thus does Alessia become the first gem in the Cyrodiilic Amulet of Kings. The gem is the red diamond. In the middle of the amulet, this is the symbol of the Empire, and later taken as the symbol of the Septim line. It is surrounded by eight other gems, one for each of the Divines. So long as the Empire shall maintain its worship of Akatosh and his kin, and so long as Alessia's heirs shall bear the Amulet of Kings, Akatosh and his divine kin maintain a strong barrier between Tamriel and Oblivion, so that mortal man need never again fear the devastating summoned hosts of the Daedra Lords. But if the Empire should slacken in its dedication to the Nine Divines, or if the blood of Alessia's heirs should fail, then shall the barriers between Tamriel and the Daedric realms fall, and Daedra worshippers might summon lesser Daedra and undead spirits to trouble the races of men. In this gesture of the giving of the amulet and the fires which are bound to it, so sealed to the Tower of White Gold, shall the two forever be, and those of the dragon blood will forever be bound to it. For it is with understanding of the Tower that mankind is able to be that much closer to the Aedra, and by way of the dragonborn shall it be forever told. Okay. Oh no, we definitely want to keep that. We definitely want to keep that. The first edition. That's the symbol of the Empire. Woo! Ka! Abidu! Lu! Who beseeches his lord Akatosh, the all divine? His herald would know thy name. Okay, let's go with Leonard. Yes. Hi, by the way. Yes, and I can see that which you seek. To reform the heart of dragons and the covenant that binds it. But know you this, mortal. That though the amulet may once again be made whole, the covenant of Alessia is not so easily reforged, and shall remain forever broken. And even as the great sacrifice of the last of the bloodborne septims closed shut the jaws of oblivion, the Daedra will forever have sway in this world, so long as there are still those who call upon their names. But to accomplish your task, to make whole what has once been shattered, relics of all seven of those born of the dragon will be required. Right. You carry but six, the last of which shall be forged of your own soul. The seventh sign of the eleventh generation, wrought from a relic of the Under King. I'm sorry. A great defeated foe. His gauntlet shall henceforth serve and forever be known as the Grasp of the Quinarin. Will you get us the souls are bound? Okay. And now, a test unto you to prove your blood and your will. For only within the flames of old can the heart once again take shape. Ready yourself, Dragonborn. Or. What? 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 I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Nobody mentioned anything about what just like really. This is not. What form would you like your armor to take? What? Um. Light. What? Have I? Behold, the heart of a dragon has taken form, and you have proven your blood and your will to be strong. Wear it well, dragonkin. Now go forth and do the will of the mighty Akatosh. Uh, oh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. We will, we will do 
Your will, mighty. Back at whoa, okay. I'm s whoa. Okay. Oh. Uh, whoa. I. All right. That. All right. I'm. I'm gonna say it. I'm kind of rocking that. I, yes, I am. Uh, um, I'm, 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 I'm just going to take the, uh, the, the what, 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 what is it? We've got the, we've got Mirak Reborn, which now looks like that. We've got the armor of Tiber. That looks a lot better than, than it. Wait, so, so, I mean, I'm still, it's a little shiny for, for me, it is a little shiny, but you know what? If we're, if we're trying to impress everyone, that, that that's that's still pretty pretty good. Can we take the helmet off? Where is it? Uh, Mirak Rebo. Oh yeah. Am I wearing the amulet? I'm wearing the amulet of kings. I am wearing where the hell is? I am wearing the amulet of kings. You can't see it though. You can't see it. And that's kind of important. Okay, let's let's just. Should we should we not? You know what? Let's not let's not be doing this right here. Yeah, where where where? Yeah. Um. Let's let's just get back outside. And I'm I'm, I'm not suggesting Akadosh couldn't hear us there, but it seems a little disrespectful to be. Whoa. Okay, right. So, this armor definitely, definitely looks the... In a go, I j <sighs> Together again. Look at this! Look, 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 look! Definitely got a bit of an emperor look about me, don't I? Don't you think? Hmm? It's, um... Regal. It is, in fact, very regal. Let's try it with... Oh, yeah, look at that! Probably not very practical considering our usual activities. And I know, and I know he said it was light, but it does look a little clumsy. But I can't see the Amulet of Kings. What would happen? See, I didn't want to put on. No, we can't see it in that either. I didn't really want to, to, to do that whilst. whilst. Aha! You see? That! Right, let's take off the rest. Canarin's grasp, I have no idea. The moon and the star? What's oh, a ring. Okay, we'll we'll worry about we'll worry about the accessories later on. You see, that's what I was looking for. That the amulet of kings. You know why? Because people will see it. I'm not going to point it out to them. That's the last thing you want to do. You don't need to be walking into town and saying, Hey, look, I've got the Amulet of Kings. I think that makes me the Emperor, doesn't it? Because everyone will say, No, that's just human nature. No, no, no. You walk around wearing this and people say, Good grief, what is that? And you say, This little thing? This little thing? It's the Amulet of Kings. It's something I picked up on one of my many adventures saving... Tamriel, fighting dragons and that sort of thing, you know. Is, is it important? And people say, well, of course it's important. It was worn by emperors. It's only to be worn by the true emperor. And I'll go, really? I, I didn't know that. That's a little strange, isn't it? And I'll say, well, it probably doesn't mean anything, does it? I mean, no. I mean, that was a long time ago. And people will go, maybe. But the thought will be there. And they'll start thinking, is he the Emperor? And I'll say, no, of course I'm not the Emperor. Of course I'm not. And they'll go, but you might be. I'll say, no, I'm just Leonard Thane of everywhere. I, I just want to help. I want to make sure Tamriel is safe. And people will say, but that's what the Emperor's supposed to do. And I go, really? You're probably right, but no, you're being silly. And it will build up momentum, you see. 
I'm sure there'll be the odd naysayer, the odd person who says, no, that's not possible. But then accidents do happen. People get ill. Things fall on them, etc. And before you know it, people will be clamouring for me to take the mantle of Emperor. Yes, they will. Although, we don't need to mention that whole thing Akatosh said about the Covenant being broken. Right? Ah, my friend, I have something very interesting to discuss with you concerning the Alien Waystone. Really? I've done some additional research and discovered in more detail how the amulet works. Okay. As it turns out, the amulet doesn't draw the wearer to the destination directly. In actuality, the amulet draws the wearer into a pocket realm of oblivion, where it can then route the wearer to the intended destination. I found an incantation that will attune the amulet to the pocket realm, where you can then travel to your intended destinations by way of portal. According to my research, the Pocket Realm itself also acts as a staging area where the alien could resupply on their way to their end destination. I believe you could utilize it as a storage locale during your adventures and save yourself some extra supplies in case of grave need. Then merely wear the amulet, gather what you need and remove it to return where you were. Use this scroll on the amulet and it should attune you to the alien crossroad. I mean... I mean... I was just coming to tell you that, that, that I rebuilt the amulet to... Use the attunement scroll on the way... Whoa, 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 Greetings. But... What I just wanted to say, I've, I've got the amulet of kings. Farewell. And you're now saying that I can use the alien... Uh, you're grinning again and it worries me. I can use the alien... Necklace... The waystone thing to, to go to some, what, plane of oblivion? But there's a house there or something. What is he talking about? Um, Scroll of attunement upgrades the Aelid waystone to transport to the oblivion crossroad. Uh, damn fleas. An oblivion crossroad. Have you any idea how insane that sounds? <laughs> 